Key. This is my KitchenAid Superba KDS-18 dishwasher. And this was a trash find. And I was planning on putting it in my kitchen. However, it ended up having a leak in the tub. So it ended up going down in my basement and I use it as a parts washer. Works pretty good for that. Uh, but as you can see, this is Superba by Hobart. This is when they were still made by Hobart. And model KDS 18, KitchenAid division, made in Troy, Ohio. And as you can see, this one has the multi position rack, top rack. So if you've got big stuff in the top, you have it set down all the way. Or you can raise the top rack. And if you have real large stuff in the bottom, raise it up all the way. And you can see how the rack can even sit at an angle like that. If you have larger stuff on the bottom on one side, and it also has the fold down dish racks. This side is adjustable. Same as this side here. And the bottom rack is simple, basic. Nothing special about it. Uh, but let's get this out of here. And you can see in the back corner there where it was rusted out. It's actually rusted through there. I put a little blob of um, caulking on the outside of that, on the outside, to keep it from leaking all over the floor. But it's somehow, for some reason, it's rusting underneath the rails there. I don't know if that was from the sprayers wobbling hitting or what happened but and you can also see well you can't with the screen on there but it's also resting fairly bad pump inlet so it's actually started to leak around the pump motor as well. So I figured I might as well video of it here before it completely quits working and it goes to scrap. Uh, let's sustain the seal their screen. And if you take, you take a look, you see the big, huge heat coil going around there. Well, not right there, but it starts right there and goes around back to this side here. That is for the Santa cycle. And what that does is it actually boils the water as it's going through the rinse cycle. But let's get some stuff in here and set up and see if we can get the thing to work. Now, before we try it out here, we have different cycle, button, cycle settings. For daily use, we have normal wash, soak and scrub, which is basically your pot and pan cycle. It's in a cycle, which does the boiling of the water and the rinse. Rinse hold and special use buttons. Short wash, plate warm, well, and cancel drain. And we have energy saver that shuts off the heat for the drying. Um, now the plate wall that does it runs the drying cycle and we have a lamp for rinsed only and each of these indicators here pre-wash, wash, rinse, sanitize and dry are neon indicators.